Adventure. Adventure, intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. You know the trouble with you, sailor? Standing here in the lobby of Shannon's hotel, right hand tilting my left ear slate, I'm listening. The trouble with you is you're a woman. Now, what did I ever do to make you think a thing like that? A woman, sailor, suspicious of everything, just like all the rest of you. Tell me something. What happens to women to make them suspicious of every man who... Ha, ha, ho, ho. Man walks into this hotel, signs the register, Joe Ralston. You take one look at him and throw salt over your shoulder. What's about Mr. Ralston you don't like? I don't know, Slate. He looks like a liquor. (laughs) Some of my best friends look like liquors. So... All I'm trying to tell you, sailor, is that you don't judge a man by what he looks like, but what he is. And if there's any man who can judge character well, that's one thing I take pride in. Mr. Joe Ralston is a bum. Cut my head off. He's a bum. And another friend of mine, Shirtless Gonzaga. You know why they called him Shirtless? Because all you had to do was shake hands with him, and he'd take the shirt right off his back and... Good morning, Mr. Ralston. Well, look how lucky I am. The first person who wishes me well on a new day, you... Hiya, Shannon. Your room okay, Mr. Ralston? Sleep well? Real snug. (laughs) Going out to do the town, huh? Can't afford it, Shannon. Can't afford a thing. Oh, then you came to Havana to look for a job. Is that it? No. I'll tell you why I came here. Oh, please do. Open up the safe. I'm broke. Slatesy. The man's got a gun. You kidding, Mr. Ralston? Open it up. Yeah. Well, here's all that's in it. A tin box, too. Thanks. Now, keep your hands up in the air. Now, look, Ralston, that money's not mine. It belongs to the guests. I'm sorry for them. Bye. Slate. Ha, ha. Ho, ho. Surprise. It's me. It's you. You make out okay at Shannon's? Real well, Annie girl. Where's Aguilar? On the veranda, taking the sun. Mm. Making bets with himself about me. <laughs> he just lost. Right now. Right this minute. I do that to you, huh, Annie? I excite you? Touch me, Joe boy, and I'll light up the streets of Havana. Reminds me you want Aguilar. Yeah, I'll bet he wants me more. Come on, I'll give you to him. Aguilar, look what just drifted in. Uh, Joe, amigo Joe. Friend Joe, who is always a pleasure to look upon Joe. Why does Senorita Ann speak of you in such ways? Must be I rub her the wrong way. Got it for you, Aguilar. Five thousand? So fast? Some places they call me Quickie. Joe the Quickie. Yeah, give it to me. To who else? Yeah. Yeah, deliciosa, preciosa. Ah, the emotions five thousand dollars can bring out in me. <laughs> Ann? Brings out the boy in him, Joey. You ought to see. Does it bring out Harry Joyce, too, Aguilar? Right out in the open, where I can kill him? We made a bargain, friend Joe. On the installment plan, you agreed to pay me 10000 For this, I agreed to deliver Harry Joyce for killing. You complete payment. I take Harry Joyce out of escrow. Deliver him to you. Where? Don't worry, he will come to you to be killed. You're a good man, Aguilar. Good businessman. The Vanna Chamber of Commerce ought to be real proud of a good man like you. <laughs> 
They would lift their noses at my import-export business. If they knew I import men whom other men want dead, you will let us know of the dying of Harry Joyce? The boy sinned against me. It's the least I could do for him. I recommend you around, Aguilar. You too, Annie girl. I cannot tell you how this delights me, Senorita Duval. It's a kicker, isn't it, kid? <laughs> it flips me. Guy pulls a gun on me, robs my hotel safe, leaves my guests without their valuable money to finger, and this makes for merriment, huh? <laughs> now, have fun, kids. There must be another police department that'll take my business. Oh, Senor Slate, come back. And I will explain to you why is funny this funny thing. Oh, you had your chance, Lasal. You blew it. First, is funny because from information I have gleaned from the Senorita Duval, you, Senor Shannon, so misjudged this Joe Ralston as to say in her face this Ralston was not a lurker. A two-bit punk with a gun, maybe, but never a lurker. Which I will proceed to disprove to you. It was but a week ago that we enticed this Joe Ralston into our pokey because we suspected him of burglary. That's how he got to Shannon's place, huh? Mm. You whispered to him our till was made for a boy like him. Ah, we released him for lack of evidence. But the fact remains, Joe Ralston was a lurker. Otherwise, our boys would never have paid him no mind. It is a motto with us. Cherche la lurker. Give up, Slate. You haven't got a chance. All right. So, among other things, this Ralston is what you say. <laughs> but now he's loose in Havana with maybe five grand of my guest's money and several layers of my pride. Which makes him an undesirable, no? Now, let's not point fingers and call names, LaSalle. Or thieves won't rob us anymore. This is the other thing that's funny. When you first told me of this, I surreptitiously sent Patrolman Gonzalez to pick up this Ralston at 39 Paseo Lumina, his former address before he moved to your hotel. Ralston wasn't there. 39 Paseo Lumina? Hmm. Maybe Gonzalez didn't look in the nooks and crannies. Oh, Slate, leave it alone. Let the police handle it. You stay here and laugh it up, huh, baby? I got a yen to go nook and cranny hunting. can I do for you? I'm looking for Joe Ralston. That's a nice thing to be doing. Why are you doing it? Is he here? You just did a wrong thing. You asked me a question. You see what happens to me when questions are asked? Look at the back of my hand. It breaks out in a sweat. Huh. Well, this is a real happy day for me. Two men show me their hands and each and every one has a gun in it. You mean that sort of thing doesn't happen to other people? Well, well. Inside, friend. Why are you looking for Joe? He killed my faith in human nature this morning. I want to shake my finger at him. You want to do a terrible thing like that to him, huh? Who are you? My name's Shannon. I run a hotel on the waterfront. Funny. I opened the door in your face and I said to myself, Harry, this is a man who wants some old clothes. <laughs> Just shows you. Now, you tell me something, hotel keeper. Put that gun down, Buster, and the things I'll tell you. Where's Joe Ralston? You got monkeys in your ears? That's what I asked you. Yeah, you did, didn't you? You're covering for Joe, aren't you? Look, Buster. Aren't you? You want to listen to me, or you want to... Aren't you? Turn around. I said turn around. You did that dainty. Now, tell me what Joe is. Tell me! Just a tap, Shannon. Hardly worth all that groan. Now tell me where he is. No more chances, baby! You used them all up. There he is. Slade! Slate, over here. Lady, you seen my ship around here anywhere? I lost my ship. Slate, you're hurt. Look, lady, they only gave me five hours shore leave in San Pedro, five hours just 
slips right through your fingers. San Pedro used it all up. I got to get to my ship. Let me help you into the jeep, Slate. I won't do you any good, lady. My time's used up. Come on. Put your armor on my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, lady. Yeah, I can use a resting place. Slate, your head. Someone's banged on it again. I told you to leave it alone. I told you. You crying for me, lady? I always cry when dumb animals get hurt. Uh, only one girl ever reached me when she cried. A girl named Sailor Duval, way over there in Havana. You're in Havana, Slate. I'm Sailor Duval. Come on, I'll get you into the jeep. You all right, Slate? Yeah. In a minute, huh? Let's just sit a minute. What happened, Slate? You went looking for Ralston. Then what happened? Uh, a guy there. Said his name was Harry. I didn't know about Joe. Made me turn my back to him. He slugged me with a gun just because I knocked on his door and asked for Joe. Come here, Slate. Better now? Don't hurt so much. Uh, hi, Sailor. This is Havana, and you really are Sailor Duval. There are days when I wish I wasn't. Well, take me home and mend me, baby. And I'll make you glad you're what you are. Oh, come on, take me home. <laughs> You feel all right, Slate? Yeah, I'm okay. Can you make it over to the door all right? I'll carry your piggyback if you want. Well, the last time you carried me down the street that way, we stirred up a thrilling game of leapfrog. Right now, I don't want company. Come on. Mr. Slate, quickly! Lady Sailor, quickly, come quickly! Well, what's the matter, King? In the lobby. But rapidly, Mr. Slate... What happened? What are you so upset about? I was in the kitchen. I heard the desk bell ring for service, then I heard shots. This is what happened, Mr. Slate, on the floor. Harry. Ah, the man who hit me over the head with a gun. Is he hurt bad? He doesn't hurt at all, King. He's dead. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. In Havana, town is a spot to go, with no silk sheets, with no floor show. Is Shannon's place, the hotel of note, where man lies dead of a bullet jolt. Oh, the king was in the kitchen cooking rice in a pot. Had to be so, not too cool, not too hot. When a gun cried out in the palm potted room, run to see is a man meeting doom. You see what happens to fellas that try to do me over, sailor? They die. But in your lobby, it's hardly cricket. You didn't see any of it, King, because you were cooking rice. A man has to eat sometime. That's right, King. Don't let him bully you. Anytime you feel the need of a rice snack while a man named Harry is being shot up in our hotel, why, you just go right ahead and... Hey, you're not paying any attention, King. Because at the curb in front of the hotel where there is a no parking sign, Senor Inspector LaSalle has just committed a misdemeanor. <laughs> and wait till he hears the happy, happy we've got for him. Come on, sailor. You put your hands over LaSalle's eyes, and I'll yell, surprise, surprise. Always fun and games. 
LaSalle, have I got something for you. Later, Senorita Duval. First, I wish to give you something from me. Now, look, LaSalle, sailor's trying to tell you... Please, me first. It concerns one Joe Ralston, a thiever of you, a burglar of who knows who. And what about him? Is about him, he was a hooligan. You don't say. I say, and I'm glad. A hooligan was Joe Ralston, with a buddy, name of Harry Joyce. Harry, huh? Well, that was the name of the man who pistol-whipped me. So Joe and Harry were buddies. Partners also, in Miami. In the alleged enterprise of being hired killers. Partners and buddies until Harry Joyce turned state's evidence on Ralston in the merry month of May last year. But Ralston fled. Rob Savannah Blind is not to be found. But we find that... My turn now, LaSalle. See, si, lovely senorita. I give you something, now you give me what? A TL? Yeah. Harry Joyce. Wear him in good health. Uh, you know where he is? Stone cold dead in our lobby. That's where Harry is. You! You have a Harry and you let me stand and make foolish? Because you sweep a girl off her feet, doll. Mm, heads will roll! Heads will roll! Now let's get out of here, sailor. I didn't like the tone of that last remark. Two surprises in one day. I enjoy it, Joe. It could get habitual, Annie. Raise a finger and you'd see how fast it could. Who is it, Annie? Joe, Joe Ralston. Bueno, tell him to come in. He says, bueno, tell you to come in. Oh. Here he is, Aguilar. Amigo, Joe, amigo. It, uh, it went well, see? Uh, very daring on my part. I shot him down in the lobby of Shannon's place. <laughs> that place is my lucky piece. Uh, now it is finished. Bueno. Yeah, finished. So I have to pay you ten grand to bring Harry to me. I wrote to Harry I want a man dead. So Harry came. An assassin. I told him it was you I wanted dead. So he followed you until you found him. <laughs> Killed him as you wished it. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, are you loco? You know why I came back here again, Aguilar? The dough I paid you, I want it back. You are a fool, senor. You will not get one peso of what I... I know where he keeps it, Joe. Joe, honey. Joe, doll. Both of you, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Where does he keep it, Angel? Take me by the hand and follow on tippy-toe. Isn't Havana nice, Joe? The thing I like about you, Slate... We're in a public library, sailor. Let's not spread around what you like, huh? There aren't enough additions of me to meet the demand as it is. The thing I like is how when people drop dead, you run to the files for last year's Miami papers. I bet not many girls can say that about their fellas. Eat you, huh? Eat you because I burn when a man robs me and another man slugs me. And the man is shot to death in my hotel. It eats you because things like that annoy me, huh? And what are you going to do? Wrap up your hurt in year-old newspapers? Just sit down here, sailor. Wet your first finger and flip the pages till you hit the many month of May. The joys you give a girl. The sunny afternoons you lay at her feet. Say when, Buster. I need a refuel job on my flipping finger. Keep going. Hold it. I said hold it. You start a girl like me thumbing old newspaper slate. There's just no holding her. See what you're looking for? Yeah. Here, sailor. Fourth column, just like LaSalle said. Harry Joyce turns state's evidence on Joe Ralston. Ralston, fugitive. Uh, um, hmm. What do you know? Well, get your nose out of it so I can see, too. I can read for both of us, baby. Ralston and Joyce were partners in an import-export business on Lincoln Boulevard, Miami Beach. When questioned, Joyce stated that the Enterprise was a branch office of the Aguilar and Company Import-Export Concern of Havana, Cuba. Hmm. I'll give the file back to the librarian, sailor. Curtsy, and then say thank you. Because you got your kicks from news a year old? Because Aguilar of Aguilar and Company is a man I just have to talk to. Don't forget to curtsy, baby. Yeah. 
Yes, what is it? Your name Aguilar? Who is asking the question? Him. I talk like this. What about it, Buster? Is your name Aguilar? Do you own an import-export business on the Prado? What of it, senor? The boys who were watching the shop told me you weren't in today. They told me where you lived. I stay home with a sick headache. Senor, I will not Inside. have Inside. You... Close the door, sailor. I hear you talking to me. Door closed. Now look, Chico. A little while ago, Sailor and I read a little item in the Miami paper about two boys who used to work for you. For me? For you. That's telling him, kiddo. Sailor, why don't you go over there and pluck a geranium and put it between your teeth? All right. Tell about two men named Harry Joyce and Joe Ralston. I don't know what you are talking Get about. Get with it, Chico. Joyce and Ralston, what about them? I repeat myself. I do not know. That's so you don't repeat yourself, Chico. Tell me new things. Harry, Harry Joyce, muerte, dead, he's dead. Th that is all I know. Listen, Buster, before I give it to the police, I've got a story for you. Today I got robbed. Today I got slugged. Today I found a dead Harry Joyce in my hotel. I'm not in the mood for... Joe Ralston, he has left, he is not here. Where'd he go? With Anne, with a girl, to the Romanza Plaza, number 12. Hi, fellows. Yeah, that's paying attention, sailor. You look nice with a geranium between your teeth. I pulled the shawl off the piano, too. Carmen, anyone? Quite a layout this girl Anne's got. Nice house. What are we going to do now? Ring the bell? Joe's inside that house. The big gun's inside, too. Let's play this cagey. I'm going to have to peek through windows again, huh? That's right. That one over there. It's just about your size. Well, what do you see? There's our long-lost customer, Joe. He's sitting in an armchair slate. Uh-oh. What's the uh-oh? Shoulder holster with a gun. What a girl. Is she in there? I don't see her. Wait a minute. Yeah, there she is. She's in the other room. Looks like she's packing. Yeah, you did good. Now what? I'll go around and ring the front doorbell. And yell trick or treat? Ring the front doorbell and run. When Joe's answering the door, I'm going in through the back. Think how fortunate you are, Sarah. This time of night, other girls are doing dull things like dancing, toasting marshmallows with their fellows, parking their convertibles in the moonlight. And you? You're ringing a murderer's doorbell. Hey, who rang this doorbell? Joe, Joe, quick, come here. Something strange, Annie. I answered the door, nobody was... How did you get in here? I'll tell you later, Joe. Uh, don't get the chance. Don't go for that gun. Because you say so. Drop it. Yeah. Uh. Slade, where are you? Oh, there you are. Be with you in a minute, sailor. Now, let's see. Where were we, Annie? I was telling you how nice it can be in Havana. You have to sit on his lap to tell him about Havana? Slugger, Slate. I like to watch you hit people. You were saying, Annie, uh, uh, where does Joe keep his dough? In his money belt. Hey, get rid of that bell ringer who just came in. Okay, Annie, you can get down now. You've had it. Joe's got five grand that belongs to me. That's what's going to make Havana so nice. You heard him. Get down, Annie. Down, girl. Down. That's right. Sailor, you're my girl. Let's get these people to LaSalle. Then we can go home. Our stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, will return in just a moment. Slate? Yeah? What do you want? I want to ask you a question. All right, all right. What is it? How did you get that girl in your arms so fast? 
Well, she was standing right about where you are, and I happened to flex my muscle, just happened to, like this. She walked over to me. Yeah, yeah, just like you did. Then what? Well, you don't know. This? Is that what she did? Uh-huh. And I... Ah, that's what I did. You kissed her like that? Well, it was a matter of 5,000... And that slap makes you feel better? Now I feel great. Come here. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Ventures.